Welcome to CG Dive. This is a quick update video about the retargeting features of AutoRig Pro. In the previous video, I covered these features in a lot of details, so if you need a detailed lesson, please watch it. In that video, I mentioned the slight weakness of AutoRig Pro when you retarget rigs with different rest poses. Well, that issue has been fixed in the latest release of the add-on. So as a quick refresher, I'm going to demonstrate the problem that we used to have and then I'll show how it has been fixed. In this scene, I have a source rig and a target rig. The target rig is in A pose, but the source rig is in T pose. Other than that, everything is set up and I'm almost ready to retarget. I just need to take care of this difference of rest poses. And AutoRig Pro has a very nice feature dedicated to this problem. If you just press this redefine rest pose button, it will allow you to easily change the rest pose. So these are the settings that you'll get with the newest version of the add-on. And what is new is this preserve setting. Now I'm going to uncheck the setting to simulate what we got before the update. And I'm going to press OK. And that will put the source rig in its default pose. And then I can select the arms, which are different in both rigs. And I'm going to click copy selected bones rotations and click apply. And now I'll have the this same animation that I used to have this kick and it, it looks perfect and if we check the rest pose you'll see that it has actually been changed to an A pose. Cool, so now I can go to pose position and retarget. And my animation will be retargeted correctly and that's nice. However, if I want to apply another animation to the same skeleton and retarget it again, then we'll get a problem um, and I'll just apply another animation to this skeleton for example, these jumping jacks. And if we play the animation, we can probably already see what the problem is. The animation of the arms has been changed because we changed the rest pose, the default pose of this rig. So now if I retarget, that's what we get for the retargeted motion as well. And in the original video that I did, I showed the solution uh, for this. You know, before we even change the rest pose, we could we can first make a copy of the skeleton and then I would have to change the source armature and change the rest pose again and so on and so forth. So there was a workaround, but it wasn't very nice. But as I said, this problem has already been fixed thanks to this preserve option. So I'm going to undo and show you how it works. I'll undo at this state before we redefine the rest pose. Cool. And... Now again, I'm going to redefine rest pose. This time I'm going to check the preserve option and press OK. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Select my arms, copy selected bone rotations and click apply. And the big difference now is that if I go to rest position, you'll see that this skeleton is still in its original T pose. But still, if I retarget, uh, first I'm going to switch to pose position and then I'm going to retarget. And now my animation will be retargeted correctly. Then right away, I can switch to another animation that I have for the same skeleton. And if I check how it looks, you'll see that it looks fine. The motion has not been changed. So I'm going to retarget quickly. And there we go. The motion has been retargeted correctly. And I can keep doing this as much as I want. And all animations will be working correctly. So that is what I wanted to talk about. The newest version of AutoRig Pro comes with a lot of improvements. One of them is support for Blender 3. There are changes in the rig generation, smart features, export, and in Remap alone, there are a bunch of new features, but a lot of them are just improvements under the hood that will make remapping faster or more streamlined. So the most interesting news for me is this preserve mode. And so there are cases when you may want to actually change the rest pose. In those cases, do disable the preserve option. But if you want to retarget many animations from the same skeleton, then make sure that preserve is enabled. And this saved setting is also new. If you choose it, it will display the A pose that we created earlier. But the rest position is still the T pose. Anyway, here I'm going to click cancel. And that will be all for this video. By the way, this change was made based on my feedback. So thank you very much, Lucas, for listening to your users. If you're new to AutoRig Pro, you'll find a link to the add-on in the description. 
It's a paid add-on, but it has a lot of nice features, so you may find that it's worth the price. Thanks for watching, and as always, big thanks to my supporters on Gumroad and Patreon. Since this is the first video for 2022, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of you a happy new year. A lot of new cool stuff will be coming to CG Dive in the next weeks and months. So please click like, subscribe, and I hope you'll tune in next time.